Good morning. Good morning wherever you are. I greet you all in the name of the great I am, Yahweh El Shaddai, and his son, Christ, our Savior. Today, I am here to pray for your relatives, your loved ones, or you. If you are sick, please, let's pray together. I have seen that Jesus is a miracle worker. And I have had testimonies of people he has healed, but I've seen him save my life. From things that no man could save me from. And so every Wednesday I am here. To speak life to a dying body. To speak life to a sick person, wherever you are. I had sickness. Sometime last year, in the month of October, I became very sick. And I... I didn't know what was going on in my body. So this is what happened. I used to work night and day. I didn't eat well. And I was in a posi I was in a very bad place. I could not sleep well. It's very sad. But I was taken to hospital. By a friend. So before going to the hospital, um, I got a severe headache. It would, my headache would just pound. You know what they call pounding. As my heart was pounding, my headache was pounding. Um, going to the bathroom and back, I could not even wipe myself dry. Um... I was going through a very difficult time. And so my friend took me to the hospital in Newton Wellesley. And doctors began to check me, but they realized that my red blood cells could not even could not even um, multiply. They could not they could not even have my red blood cells were not multiplying themselves as in i became so anemic that i was my my blood my bone marrows were running out of red blood cells and so the doctor said that that is a very bad place for me to be and uh it needed uh serious medical attention and um so they tried to find out what the problem was. I, I knew the problem because uh, back in Uganda, I was given a venomous, poisonous uh, substance that I, I drank. After I drank it, I realized, oh my goodness, I was poisoned. That poison um, did not affect me immediately. It took time. It affected my brain, my hair, my skin, and now my red blood cells. And so the doctor had to help me uh, come out of that acute situation. But I knew that Jesus was with me. I was given three pints of blood. And I was put on iron medicine and i was discharged i had to follow uh the doctor's guidance but i also had to pray and have faith in mark 16. before i went to that hospital i watched i watched the servant of god 
um, I watched testimonies from Mr. Andrew Womack and there was a panel and they were talking about healing and that is a time when I was very sick but I remember a young lady on those panels who was very who had she was losing her hair she had tried all kinds of medication but nothing was helping her so she decided to trust jesus after going to a uh, cherish bible school and so she began to trust the lord and her hair began to grow back on her head. And me as a person, I was going through things, right? But I believe those testimonies. Um, I also watched another video about healing and the servant of god was given days to die i will tell you his name but he chose to believe that by his stripes was healed I come from Uganda, but I grew up knowing that there is nothing Jesus cannot do that is a miracle worker. Ah, that is it. I, for me, I believe that Jesus is a miracle worker, and I'm telling you, I will believe until eternity. Jesus is still a miracle worker. But why don't we sometimes receive the healing? That's my question. Why would I be sick for a long time to a point of death? Usually, definitely, it's the enemy who brings sickness and diseases to us. But sometimes we also live carelessly that we don't eat right. Or sometimes we put ourselves in positions that are not that we're not supposed to be in but still i believe that jesus is a miracle worker that he'll come through for me to help me to heal me to make me whole anyway please believe that jesus can heal you please believe that jesus can change your situation please believe that Jesus can transform your life. Please believe that he is a miracle worker. With God, all things are possible. In the name of Jesus. Heal this woman. Heal this child. Heal this man. Heal them all, dear Jesus. May your healing hand touch them. May your healing grace heal them. May your healing mercy touch them. Redeem them from the pit of sickness. Crown them with love and compassion. Heal their bodies, Lord. Heal their blood, Lord. Heal anything concerning them, Lord. Deliver them, Jesus. I ask you, Lord God, because you told me in Mark 16 that I shall lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. Lord Jesus, I've seen you heal and I've seen you deliver. You are resurrection and life. You are the Lamb of God. You are mighty in power. I trust your power. I trust your name. I trust your word. I trust you're the healer. You are Jesus the healer. Now begin to heal. Begin to deliver. 
in the name of Jesus, right now, in the name of Jesus, touch that man from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Touch that woman from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. I speak healing. I speak Jesus. I speak life. I speak healing. I speak Jesus. I speak life. I speak healing. I speak Jesus. I speak life. Receive your miracle wherever you are in Jesus' mighty name. God is healing. The Lord is healing. There is nothing he can do. Test the Lord and see that he is good. Test the Lord and see that he's good. Hallelujah. Begin to do things you're not doing before. Begin to try food you're not eating before. Because I've seen Jesus do it. Today receive your healing. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your miracle. Receive it for your son. Receive it for your daughter. Receive in the name of Jesus, son of the living God. Thank you, Lord, because you're good. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Thank you for the miracles you have done. Thank you for the lives you have saved today. Thank you for this Wednesday, uh, the 17th of January, 2024. Thank you for that man who is running. Thank you for that child who has jumped off the bed in the name of Jesus. They don't know what has happened, but Jesus has touched somebody today. You're delivered. You're healed. You're made whole. You're delivered. You're healed. You're made whole. You're delivered. You're healed. You're made whole in Jesus' name. It is Jesus touching you right now, healing your body and healing your soul. Hallelujah. He is word and we use his word to do these miracles. All we got to do is follow his teachings and follow his word and his voice will be heard and people are healed. They are delivered in the name, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, just in case you've been watching me today. And you have been living a life of sin. Repent and turn away from sin. And secondly, if you have never been baptized, please go and be baptized. Find a church that is near you. You don't have to call prophets in Nigeria. You don't have to call prophets in Ghana. Hallelujah. You have a church near you. You go there. Every church, Jesus is in every church. Christ is in every church. Don't be deceived. Amen. You don't have to call uh, 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 prophets in, 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 in Namibia. Hallelujah. Receive your healing. Yes, I used to be, a, 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 when I was young and Satan was on my case, I, I called a prophet. I, I said, I'm going to look for this prophet. I didn't call him, but I told someone from that country. I said, I'm going to call this prophet. And I'm going to ask this prophet to pray for me. Unfortunately, I'm still living, but the prophet died. What does it mean? It means trust in Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and he shall direct. You understand? So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Go to your, a, a nearby church, a church that reads the Bible and teaches the Bible. Don't try to look for miracles in wrong places. We are in a season whereby there are so many prophets around the world, but some of them are not teaching the gospel. Therefore, they are satanic. We have so many prophets that have disconnected themselves from the vine, from God our Father, and they are misleading the flock of God. So for you, look for a Bible-based church. Tell them, I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I want you to teach the Bible. Please, where is Bible class? This woman who prayed for me told me, go and find a Bible-based church, sit and study the word of God. Even you become an evangelist and a minister of truth. Now, repeat these words, uh, words after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I worship you and I thank you for your son. Forgive my sins. Come into my heart. Erase my name from the book of the dead and write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Today, I'm your child. Today, I belong to you. Today, I'm your daughter. Today, I'm your son. And I ask you to bless me. Empower me with the Holy Spirit. Give me your wisdom and your understanding in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Um, I don't have my Bible next to me, but I now have a Bible nearby. The Bible says, please buy a Bible and open the book of John chapter 8. 
And when you open that book, please read. Read about Jesus. You know now Jesus is everywhere. He's in the movies. He's in songs. He's anywhere. You can find Jesus anywhere. But how many people spend time to read his teachings? Please read the teachings of the Messiah and be equipped with truth so that you too can be his ambassador on earth. Hallelujah. Now, John chapter 8. Now, most importantly, please read Matthew chapter 7 and study. He said, many will come and do miracles in my name, but I will say, I never knew you away from me, evildoers. So it means you cannot receive Jesus and continue doing evil. Accepting Jesus is this. Satan is here, right? And say Jesus is here, all right? Now, Satan is bad. Jesus is good. Who do you choose? Satan kills. He destroys lives. He afflicts bodies. He brings sorrow, anger, sickness, diseases but jesus brings peace joy love goodness blessings because jesus connects you father but satan connects you to death so if you were to choose who would you choose you would choose the good guy yeshua so today you have chosen the good guy yeshua now buy a bible the bible is a book he uses to educate you so you can become a good person amen and then Go to church and ask them to pray for you. And, and that's the end of it. You are free. You're delivered from Satan, sin, death, demons, darkness, illness, anything. So long as you're of Christ Jesus, you're free. That's what I believe. I don't, be, I don't believe that I can be in Christ Jesus and bound. I don't believe I can repent and remain bound. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. I love you forever. I love you.